In this video, we're going to look at two inverse probability problems associated with the standard normal curve. That is, what's the, what would the C value be if the probability of all the Z's less than that C was 45%? And the other problem that we'll look at is what would the C value need to be so that the probability of all the Z's being bigger than that C is 35%. A couple things to, to remember real quickly is that we're talking about a standard normal curve. Standard normal curve is a, a standard normal distribution is a normal distribution where the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. Um, so it looks very much like this. So let's worry about the first problem. What's the probability that z is less than some c is equal to 45? Okay, so, so in this case, we know that we've got this area to the left because we're looking at z's that are less than some c. We're looking for this c value right here so that this area is 45% of the total area. Okay, that blue area. The nice thing is that R has a built-in function that does that. Q norm of this area is going to tell us that this is going to be a negative 0 0.125, so on. So over here at a negative 0.12566, at that value, if we found the p norm of that value, it would be 45. This area below that is 45%. Now, this problem takes a little bit more thinking about it. We want to find some c so that the probability that z is bigger than that c is 25%. So we're looking for this c value that's between this pink area and this red area, where this red area happens to be 25% of the total area under the curve. Well, if that's 25% of the total area, then this pink would have to be 75% of the total area. So we can convert this problem to a problem of finding the the probability that z is is less than c is 75. So the, the area under the curve is 1 because it's a probability distribution. The point on the z-axis separating these two is the c value that we're looking for when we're trying to solve this problem. The z's are the z's greater than c. Uh, the probability of the z being greater than, than c is going to be 25%. So this area is 25%, and we're looking for this point right here. So we'll be able to do that because this area is 1 minus the 25%. So it's just going to be a Q norm of 1 minus 0 0.25. And so this number is going to be 0 0.67. See, there's 0 and 1. There would be 0 0.5. And sure enough, there's where 0.6744898 is. Okay, there you've got it. Those are the two probabilities that you need to understand how to do. Okay. The probability that Z is less than C is equal to 45. So in these cases, we're knowing the area instead of the C value. Okay, good luck.